You were up there a long time. Oh, I was researching something. Oh, is that what we're calling it these days? I was. Hey, would you mind grabbing the food? I'm just wrapping up here. Oh, yeah, sure thing. Thanks. There we go. Probably too long and full of typos, but that's what editors are for, right? Mm. God, I'm starving. It looks good. Mm-hmm. So, how was your day? What? Hmm? Got none of that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How was your day? Oh, it was fine. Mm-hmm. Typical day in paradise. Mm hmm I, uh, I got to pull a bunch of garbage out of a river. Mm. Yes. At least you got to go for a swim. <laughs> Did you find any exciting garbage? Oh, some brilliant stuff. It was a uh, early 21st century truck we got. <laughs> Apparently the natives called it a semi. Oh dear lord. Kind of some, so, it, it, boring stuff. But tell me about the article. Well, it started out as this fluff piece about tourism in Bangkok, but I don't think the magazine is gonna like the angle that I'm taking because everyone immediately commented about how rude the smog was, that it was like shock to the lungs like the second that you got off the plane. So, kind of took this beauty and it's elegy. Ah! What? Where are you? I'm in... Here, being stabbed with a fork. Oh, really? <laughs> what? Just keep going. It was, it was interesting. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. What's my article about? What? This one? Flights in Bangkok that um, are having troubles with them because the smog and they can't land. Wow. <laughs> right, I'm sorry. No, it was valiant. It I was, was in the really ballpark, right? In a different state, but yeah, you were in a ballpark. <laughs> Jameson asked you about that Malaysia job again. Jameson always asked me about the Malaysia job. Look, Nate, I really think that you should take it. You know what? I don't want it. Really? I mean, he doesn't have the permits. And we agreed we're not going to take that kind of work anymore. It's okay, just not worth it. it. It doesn't sound that risky. All right? If it's just a permit. No way. You could call Sullivan. You haven't but seen him Elena, in about two years. Well, could we please drop this? Okay, I just don't want you to not take it because of me. I'm not taking it because of me, okay? I appreciate the gesture. It's just... I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes. Oh, stop, I'll do them. No, you did on. them last night. No, you cooked. I clean. It's fine. I mean, at least, at least, uh, let me, let me try to earn it or, or something. Let me, um, uh, play you for it. You'll play me for yeah, it? Yeah, 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 your little TV game thing. I bet I can beat your high score. 
You think that you can beat my high score on my TV game thing? Yeah, I think you're scared now. You don't even know what it's called. I don't need to know what it's <laughs> called. I've seen you play. It's right. jumping and running, and I have a natural talent oh, for that. Really? So what do you say, chicken? Is it a bet? Oh, wow. Okay, cowboy. Okay, watch and learn. Oh, I'm learning, all right. Is this it? No, it has to load. Load? Yes. This is taking a really long time. You have no patience. When you turn something on, you expect it to... Okay, here we go. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot. Is there a problem? No, no, just, uh, how do you, uh, how do you make it go? Push the start button. I knew that. All right. I got it. Okay, so you want to run towards the camera. Run to the camera. Got it. And the circle button is your spin attack. Spin attack! Yeah, and press X to jump. Right, which one's X? Yeah, right thumb. Okay, run away from the boulder. Why is the boulder chasing me? Just run away from it. I did nothing to this boulder. Does that spinning hurt? That was, that was, that was not too bad. Use your spin attack. Ow! Oh, that had to hurt. It did probably hurt. So, why do you keep playing this? Because I'm really great at it. I don't know why people get into video games. <laughs> You're going the wrong way. Huh? Run towards the bottom. I know, I know. I just like to explore, you know? Good, good. There you go. Oh, yeah, way to go there. Not bad, not bad. What is that thing, a fox? A bandicoot. Looks like a fox. It's like a fox in jeans. Okay, smash the boxes. Why is a fox smashing crates? A bandicoot, and that's just, it's what he does. It's a fox. Oh, what happened? You fell in the pit. I know. How do I uh, climb back up? You're dead. Well, that's not realistic. I, I would have climbed back up. He should learn to climb. Climbing's always helped me. Last life. You gotta make it count. Oh, I so got this. Perfect. By the way, foxes can't do this. It's a bandicoot. That doesn't look anything like a bandicoot. Have you ever seen a bandicoot? Uh, no, but I'm sure they don't wear sneakers. Uh, these graphics are pretty good, aren't they? Jump, jump. Stop yelling at me. I'm encouraging you, I'm coaching you. Keep going, keep going. Okay, grab the fruit. What does the fruit do? A hundred gives you an extra life. A hundred? Who's got time to pick a hundred pieces of fruit? <laughs> Is that it? You asked for it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I practically had it. You can give it another shot. Come on, double or nothing. My car could really use a good really? cleaning. Really? You're gonna start yeah. the smack talk There's now? There's this mode called easy mode. I just switch it. Wow. It's way no, easier on no, easy mode. Just keep talking. Keep talking. What are you gonna do? I'm, I'm warning you. What are you gonna do? I'm warning you. In real life, what hey, can you do? I'm Show me. You. What can you I'm do in real you. life? What do you think about that? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Hey, are you happy? Yeah, of course. You? Um. Um? <laughs> really? Come here.
Not open yet. We're closed. Come on, man. All right, I'm coming. Coming. Asshole. <sighs> yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm uh, looking for my little brother. It's about your height, a little bit leaner, definitely less gray in the temples. Sam? Good to see you again, Nathan. God, Sam. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> How? How? I thought you. I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> well, the doctors, they. I mean, doctors. They patched me up and they tossed me right back into the cell. Yeah, but I. I made calls. I, I checked everywhere. I, Everything I heard, everything I found, it, it all confirmed you were dead. Well, Nathan, we killed a guard, okay? So they wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. Jesus, Sam, I... Man, if I had known, I, I, I swear to you, I would have you come back... You would have come back. I know, Nathan. I know. What's important now, though, is that I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. You still with me? Need some air. <laughs> You're not gonna pass out on me or nothing, I, are you? I just might. <laughs> it's a lot to digest, you know? <sighs> but how, how did you get out? When did you get out? How, how'd you even get here, find me? All right, right, right. Slow down. Hey? Have a seat. <laughs> I wanna hear about you. Huh? Me? Yeah. So what's to tell? Well, call some of your old contacts. They tell me some pretty crazy ass stories. <sighs> These were crazy stories. Got shot, hanging from a derailed train in the Himalayas. Yeah, that uh, that actually happened. Come on, man. What did I miss? Jeez, Sam, where do I start? Start with the best part. A few years back, I got roped into uh, breaking into this Turkish museum to steal this oil lamp, okay? Oil lamp? Uh, it was an artifact from Marco Polo's lost treasure fleet. Kubla Khan's treasure. Yeah. Yeah, and as it turns out, there was a whole hell of a lot more on those ships than just treasure. I mean, what can I say? Another lost city destroyed, and uh, we made it out alive. Barely. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I wish you could have been there. No, it, it's literally unbelievable. You, you tell me you stumble upon yet another archaeological <laughs> gold mine, and somehow you manage to walk away with nothing. Yeah, well, it's a story of my life, I guess. But, you know, I managed to grab a few trinkets here and there. Mm. Paid off the car, the house, engagement ring, the engagement ring. I'm married. I can't believe, I, Elena from the stories, that's my wife. You gotta come meet her. Tonight, dinner, at my place. You're coming to dinner, I can tell her all about you. Shit, I gotta tell her all about you. Nathan, I'm in a lot of trouble here. What? What are you talking about, what kind of trouble? The name Hector Alcazar ring about with you. Yeah, he's the, the drug lord. Mm -hmm. Butcher of Panama, right? Why? It's a funny story, but um, last year he was my cellmate. So this is how I got out of prison. Not reading the night. Samuel, come here. Uh, 
Listen. The guards, they're singing. Yeah, well, they're probably drunk. Perhaps. But they are content. How can they be content with their small lives? Their miserable jobs? <laughs> I mean, they have wives to go home to. What do we got? Huh? No offense. We have ambition. Oh. <laughs> and when we get out of here, that ambition will take us to places these idiots cannot even imagine. Yeah, well, amen to your optimism. What will you do when you get out, Samuel? <laughs> That's if I get out of here. I'm sure you can imagine. I can. But I want to hear you say it. I will find the greatest pirate treasure of all time. Which I'm sure you are sick of hearing about by now. Oh, no. The tale of Henry Avery and his 400 million in jewels and gold has... Become a sweet lullaby for me. Do you really think you can find it? Given the opportunity? Absolutely. <laughs> Ambition. What is that Avery quote? <laughs> I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. Mm. I like how he thinks. What the hell was that? The opportunity of a lifetime. Señor Alcázar, un gusto verlo. Segment the key. Oh. ¿Qué hacemos con él? Samuel, are you ready to seek your fortune? Yeah. Vámonos. Holy shit. Los demás están en posición. En camino. How long have you had this plan? Samuel, keep up. You're going to have to move quickly. Holy shit. Todas las puertas. Hector, you do that, and you'll start a goddamn riot. <laughs> exactly. Háganlo. Stay close, Sam. I see. <laughs> 
Avance a mí. Move it now. El área está asegurada. Son agua. Aquí. Estamos en posición. ¿Están listos? Sí. Busquen dónde cubrirse. Samuel, get behind something. What? Why? Just do it. Samuel, get behind cover. Yeah, my, uh, my ears are ringing, but, but I'll live. Samuel, take cover! Samuel, in a minute, we will either be free or dead. Are you ready?
Samuel, drink. Oh, no, no, I'm good. I'm better than good, actually. <laughs> You're dehydrated. Go on, drink. Thank you. So, what's next for Samuel Drake, huh? mm. Jesus, what is next? Uh, I'm gonna take a bath. I'm gonna sleep on a real bed. Mm. Maybe find a nice warm body to sleep next to me. Uh, track my brother down. Seems like a pretty good start. Uh, it is. So, uh, how long? What do you think it would take for you to retrieve Avery's treasure? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, uh, I get back to the States, I can resume my search. How long? Uh, it's kind of hard to say until I get started. You said you know where it is. Yeah, uh, I do, okay? But listen, it's, it, it's not like Avery left some map with a big red X on it, okay? But I've, I've, I've got some very you think solid. That's Oh, okay. J just, just wait a minute. Take, take, take. Hey, take it easy. I like you, Samuel. More importantly, I believed you. That is why you were here. I can, I can get it. Okay, I, I just need some time. Tell me, Uncle Gio. You see, the problem is. I'm having all these doubts into my mind. Hector, listen to me. I will find it. I swear. To you. How long? Six months. <laughs> People are lazy. They always ask for more time than they actually need. Three months. Three months is a bad. Three months. Half the treasure. Can you do it? Say it. Three months have the treasure. Now, if you run or try to hide the treasure, or do something really stupid like go to the authorities, I'll know. And when you least expect it, I will be there. At that point, death is not a mercy I will grant you. <laughs> Come on. Now, the nearest town. It's 10 kilometers in that direction towards the sunrise. <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen the sunrise outside, huh? Vamos. When I find it, then what? Don't worry. When the time comes, I'll be there to collect. Buena suerte, Samuel. Uh, let's me go and here we are. This is bad. We just pick up the trail where we left off and wait, trail? Sam, there's no trail. After Rafe and I escaped, he took his parents' fortune and bought up all the land around St. Dismas Cathedral. We combed that place for weeks. Avery's treasure isn't there. Not that that stopped Rafe. Moron's been digging for years, still hasn't turned up squat. Not really surprised. What does that mean? I just, you know, happened to do a little digging of my own. And, uh, I bet your Rafe doesn't have this. It's really amazing what you can find on the internet these days. It's just the St. Dismas Cross. Oh, is it? Because the one we found was broken and hollow, remember? Holy crap, it's still intact. Avery made more than one cross. So whatever's missing from the one in Panama... ...is probably still inside this one. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. Well, where is this? Oh, this exquisite piece is going up for auction in three days at the Rossi Estate. The Rossi estate. Well, you know it. Uh, yeah. 
And how do you plan on securing an invite to an exclusive, heavily guarded black market auction? Well, you don't necessarily need an invitation, per uh, se. Huh? Yeah. And uh, where are you going to get the money to outbid all the high rollers? I could take a second mortgage out on my house, and it still wouldn't be enough to... Yeah, you're going to try and steal it, huh? No. We are. Oh, no. No, oh, man, listen, I'm, I can't. I'm, I'm out. What? No, I, I, I just don't do that kind of thing anymore. Besides, there, there are plenty of other guys that are much more equipped to handle this kind of thing. Like who? Um, I don't know, like, uh... Anybody, uh, Charlie Cutter. No. You no, know, he's my no, go-to no, guy no, for this sort of thing. No, absolutely not. I don't trust Charlie or anybody else that you've got in that phone with my life, okay? I need you on this one. Sam, there's got to be another way. Not with the time I got left. Certainly not with Alcazar. Hey, hon, it's me. Yeah, uh, listen, you're not gonna believe this. What? Jameson just walked in here with the permits. Wow, that's, that's great. Yeah. I know, I know, but uh, it's like I'm gonna take that Malaysia job after all. See anything yet? Just a bunch of high-class, low-life criminals all cleaned up for prom. <laughs> and no sign from Sullivan yet. Well, there's still plenty of time. It looks like the storage room's in the building behind the manor. You see it from up there? Just the very top of it. Oh, I wonder what they got tucked away in there. <laughs> Let's just focus on Avery's cross, okay? No, you sure you don't want to pick up something for the wife? It's cute. Let's keep it simple. Right, simple. And it would be a whole lot simpler if it was just the two of us. Sam. We could be inside already. Not cleanly. Have you even thought about a backup plan in case uh, Sullivan gets cold feet? No, because he won't. Or if he got caught? Sam. He knows the people running the auction. He's gonna schmooze his way right through that party, get upstairs, unlock the window, and we're in. It's a solid plan. Uh-huh. All right, fine. Good, say it. What if he stole the cross for himself? Not in a million years. Victor Sullivan. Same Victor we're talking about, right? Yes, he's double-crossed people in the past, but not us. No, not you. I know you two have never seen eye to eye. Huge understanding. But I trust him, all right? He's family. And... No, 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 no. I just need you to trust him, too. Fine. Fine. He'll come through for us. Eventually. But I mean, come on, you have to at least just for one second consider the possibility. There. See? Trust. Try to keep your tucks clean. Thanks. <laughs> I can't believe I'm out. I can't believe I'm here you know, with you in Italy, huh? <laughs> Yeah, me either. Just wish the circumstances were less tense, you know? Eh, uh, well... Now the sights are a bit more enjoyable that way. Oh! Uh, so this, this isn't your first time here? No, it's more like, uh, third? Had a couple of odd jobs. With Sullivan? Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
Man, there's no way up into that bridge. Well, there's that exposed beam underneath. Hey, you think you can rope it? Do I think I can rope it? <laughs> Watch this. I'm watching. I, uh... I missed. <laughs> nah, see, it's, uh, it's all in the wrist. Ah, see? Yeah, it's not bad. For a second attempt. Huh. Here we go. You see that? Oh, like a pro. It's your turn. <laughs> okay, so where to next? Hey, bet we can swing off that beam up there. Uh, definitely. Hey, let's switch places. All right, climb over me. I've, I've got a good grip. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> First try. All right, no one likes a show-off. Okay, come on, Nathan. It looks like you can uh, climb down and make your way over. Right behind you. Okay. Ehi, hai scommesso sulla partita? Inghilterra di cento. Inghilterra? Traditore. Ehi, non confondere l'orgoglio nazionale con la realtà. Ok, we're good. Jesus, did you see him? That Renner thug was packing some serious heat. Should have brought guns. Sam, we're gonna pull this off so smoothly we won't need them. I hope you're right. All those years. It's the little things that you miss the most. Like what? The smell of fresh citrus. <laughs> uh, riding the motorcycle. It's little things, but they add up. Look, there's our window. <laughs> That should hold. I go for it.
All right, come on down. <laughs> These landings are a little more painful than I remember. <clears throat> yeah, tell me about it. So, uh, your other wonderful finds, uh, the ones I missed, you at least take any pictures? I wish. Elena filmed something.